Hey guys, so I already did my reaction video for today, but I may not up upload this till tomorrow just so I can, uh, so I'll just have it ready and I can just upload it tomorrow. So this is going to be a reaction from Steven D. He does have a fair amount of subscribers. I don't know why I'm not subscribed to him. I'm going to do that right now. There he has another su subscriber now. So this video is a doctor became my stalker. It's six minutes long. So maybe it'll be a good video. Let's see. Um, I, I have watched his videos before. I just never did a reaction to them. So this will be the first time. So let's see how good this one is for my first reaction video. Let's get into it. A week before Kim's 10th birthday, she walked to the corner store with a $5 bill and picked up a jar of ragu for her mom. On her way home, a man she'd never seen before began talking. Hi, he said cheerfully. My name is Dr. Ramsey. I'm a pediatrician. Do you know what a pediatrician is? Kim walked along silently, okay, not replying bye. and fervently hoping he would take that as a sign he should leave her alone. I was just on my way to get some lollipops for the candy jar in my office. Like, What's your name? Thankfully, they were nearing her house, so she ran forward and went inside. Like, what do you Kim want? She didn't know it then, but that was the beginning of a very long and very scary ordeal. Do you know what a pediatrician is? It didn't take long after that for Dr. Ramsey to begin showing up. He would drive by nearly every day, smiling and waving. Kim told her mom, who said maybe it was on his way home from work. But then the phone calls began. Kim's dad asked about the day Dr. Ramsey followed her home and if she talked to him. He said she wasn't in trouble, but that she needed to tell him the truth. Kim told him no, and he asked if she was sure or if she could be forgetting something. She said no again, and he frowned, then asked, then how does he know your name? Exactly. Kim didn't know. It turns out that was not all he knew. He knew her sister's name as well. Neither Kim nor her sister were allowed to answer the phone, and he called several times a day. Then one night, one of Kim's brothers told them that he was telling their parents that he was going to hurt her, and later, her sister. Things got complicated after that. Kim's what dad kind of called the police, this? but as this was before there were any stalking laws, there was not a lot they could do. They what? told the parents to call back if he tried anything. Kim's dad then called a friend of his who happened to be a cop. For the next month, her dad's friend escorted her to and from school. She couldn't go outside alone anymore. And then one afternoon, all the siblings and their mom were in the kitchen, when all of a sudden, one of the brothers saw a glimpse of someone in the garage. Oh Dr. God. Ramsey came bolting out of it, and the brother chased after him. They ran all the way to Cherokee Park, where he lost him in the trees. Kim's parents called the police again, but nothing came out of it. The only information they had was a description and a name that was almost certainly fake. A couple weeks later, the family woke up to something horrific happened to their German Shepherd. Oh my god. The cops said there was no evidence it was him and ruled it accidental. What? But none of them believed that. His phone calls became more informative in the meantime. That night, the dad put in some carpenter nails in the bottom of the French doors until he got a new lock ordered. Her parents had to go to a company event for her dad's work, and the older brother was at a skating event, so only the three younger ones were home. Oh no. Suddenly, the top of the French door swung inward, and in a few milliseconds before the nails in the bottom caused them to snap back, Kim could see his silhouette. The sisters crept down to the brother's room to look. Someone was standing at the back door, knocking loudly. Go away. What do you want? She said. Is this a Mercy residence? I have a pizza for delivery. Yeah, okay. She scoffed at him, declaring she was not yeah. stupid and she was calling the cops. Pizza. Before they knew it, he left. A short while later, her brother returned home. Kim told him what happened and he walked around the yard watching for him. By now, the family had pretty much given up calling the cops because it never helped. As the younger brother was in the kitchen, he had the sensation that he was being watched. He stepped closer then closer again until he was right up to the door. There on the other oh, side of the window was Dr. Ramsey smiling like, back at him. Like, what do you want, he bitch? He turned to yell for his older brother, but when he looked back again, he was gone. What the hell, They man? went out again to look for him, but didn't see him anywhere. A week later, Kim was at school and the kids were outside on the playground during recess. 
She was swinging upside down when she saw that familiar blue car cruising by, moving slowly. There he was, smiling and waving. He called her name and Kim ran to the teacher and told her. The school had been told all about him and the teacher took her inside right away and called Kim's mom. That same day, her mom had gotten a call from the school office asking her to verify that Kim's dad was picking her up as he called to say that he was on his way. Okay. He wasn't. Oh. Not long after that, Kim woke up one night thirsty. She went down to the kitchen for a drink and there, sitting alone in the dark, was her dad. On the table was a gun. He was tired of being afraid every time he left for work that something would happen to his kids while he was gone. Kim sat with him for a time, watching before he sent her back to bed. Then, as suddenly as it began, it was over. He had vanished from their lives. The phone calls, the drive-by and creepy ways, everything. For a long time during and after the Dr. Ramsey incident, she would have a recurring nightmare in which she would wake up to find him standing over her as she slept. It took a long time before Kim felt like a kid again. She still wonders if the wait had ended for her dad when he was waiting in the darkened kitchen that one night. Kim doesn't know, and she's not sure that she wants to. That was a good story. Some definitely creepy ass doctor here. Let me see once again this part where there's something about her dad sitting on the thing. Like he, and wait, let me get this straight. I'm, I'm tired. It's midnight right now. But, um, so he, uh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Um, he said that, like, her dad was, like, annoyed at, like, going to work, like, with his family, you know. Yeah. Just ask. Um, sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. What, what am I doing with my life? Okay. He said something about not being like, you know, so like, he was like sitting there waiting like for the guy to come, right? Because like he was nervous that he would come back or something, right? So he had the, had the guy next to him and then, and, then, and then eventually it stopped. Well, I mean, you can't just not go to bed. Like, it, it, it sucks because then you can't even count on the cops, you know what I mean? Well, we have no evidence, like, he, there's no proof, which I get it, there's no proof, right? That's why I need surveillance cameras. Like, once that shit starts happening, get the fucking surveillance cameras. Make sure you get a ride to and from school. Don't ever be alone outside because he knows where you are, apparently. Like, that ain't no doctor. That's some stalker doctor. Like, that's not... Like, that's not, that's not normal. It's not okay. Like, hi. I'm a doctor. I'm a pediatrician. Do you know what a pediatrician is? Like, okay, bye. Like, oh yeah, it's the pizza guy. Yeah, fuck you. It's a pizza guy. You can suck my ass. You are not the fucking pizza guy, bitch. Anyway, sorry for the random whatever the hell's. Oh, that's what. Okay, cool, cool yo. Anyway, yeah. So I, I, I don't, I, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> um, think it, I'm probably gonna release this now just because well, I have to edit it first. But I'll probably upload it now because I'm probably not gonna go to bed until one. In it. Anyway, tomorrow is my Friday. Tomorrow is Wednesday, but tomorrow is like my Friday, and then I'm off for three days. Thank God. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.